Hello everyone and welcome to Gaming FTL. My name is Josh and this is Massive Chalice, the double fine game that was kickstarted a while back and I contributed to that, just so you know. Um, and now I'm playing the Backer Beta and it is really good fun. It's got a lot of rough edges but now I've played 143 years and 143 days. I didn't even notice that. That's cool. <laughs> I've played far enough into it to... I, I think I know what's what and, and how things work. If you want to know what this is at a glance, it's basically XCOM played specifically on the uh, finance map. You know, the bit where countries decide whether they want to finance you and back you and uh, and they can drop out if bad things happen to them too much. That's what these three little... Uh, on each of these uh, areas, that's what the three little kind of yellow dots or... Uh, Trying, uh, not triangles, diamonds are. If that fills up, then that area will be wiped from the map and you just can't use it ever again. Which is what I am trying to uh, stop happen, but I do have two that are almost full here, so hopefully these two don't get invaded at the same time. Uh, knowing the game, that will probably happen. But let's go on here. Oh, I have a couple of things going on in upcoming events I've got recruitment boost which is a research technology which hopefully will get me better heroes when sometime in the future and also uh, I have sent one of my heroes he was having a kind of crisis and aside from actual battles you get small events that you can choose and they will decide the future of your kingdom in some small way. So Kevin Serenov here is on a journey of self-discovery. I gave him five years to, to find out what he was what he was wanting to do. Uh, my other option was to say, no, you, you have to stay here and fight. And hopefully the Cadence will attack soon so I can show you a battle. But, oh, uh, Regent of the Arcade has died at the age of 59. I'm going to skip this because I take ages to make these decisions. Who's going to... Uh, take over the reign of this keep. Basically you choose a, a person to take over. God, I have so many Kalmars. Uh, yeah, and then the person who takes over then creates uh, hero children or trains, trainees, etc. So I'm going to skip this bit because it's going to take ages. Okay, so what I think about when I'm making this decision are the personality traits, the uh, trait traits, and the level because the higher the level the higher the level trainees come out when they are of age and that's quite important. Now I've sorted that out these guys uh, will probably have babies and create more trainees and in the future I will have a lot more heroes but let's continue down the timeline and hopefully the cadence will attack now I don't know oh plenty of plenty of babies being had which is great uh, Research. Uh, we have translated, blah blah blah, chalice text, secret chemical recipe. Lovely. Okay, and now we have the option to choose new research. I've completed a whole bunch of it, including armor and weapons and buildings. I think. How long does it take to build a keep? I don't want to build a keep. Keeps are great, they just let you uh, have more heroes. I think I want a bigger variety of heroes so I'm going to recruit a bunch of new heroes uh, from different families just to hopefully keep things fresh and <laughs> not stuck with the same uh, three or four families all the time so let's see how that works out see this is the sort of decision you end up with this is kind of mid-game I think I don't know exactly how long in, in years the games um, the game lasts but, okay, so this is the result of sending this guy off. He's returned. He looks worse than before. The hero worked dozens of jobs and even tried to start a family, but all of them ended in failure. Not knowing where to go next, Kevin returned to the only place where the pool swell. Oh, no. He's going to be rubbish now. Level three. That's not good. I don't think I'm ever going to use this guy. I might just uh, ignore him a little bit. So let's continue and see how recruiting new heroes works. There we go. Chalice attuned citizens. I've probably got a variety of new people with new um, awesome looking... Uh, what do you call it? Sigils. They look great. Those are really cool. 
all level 3 so it's not amazing but we will see how they work out for me in the future and they're pretty young as well so I can marry them off if nothing else <laughs> if they've got decent stats yeah uh, idle oh our sage wrote rights were in I need to set up no okay let's make them research something I forgot about that um, let's go for wonder pants wait no let's not because they're they're not great <laughs> uh, oh my goodness is there nothing is there nothing else haste tooch I quite quite like the sound of that so there we go see how that works out and finally hopefully the cadence will attack there we go so quick okay now this is kind of a no-brainer decision because if this area gets attacked uh, by the cadence without me defending it one more time I will lose it entirely I don't want that to happen because I've got a brilliant keep there this place has no strikes so I'm okay with with that happening I will finally be able to show you the <laughs> the combat and here is where we choose our heroes I'll set those up and cut come back to you in a minute all right I have Eva Donlan who is uh, using her family relic which has been leveled up from a couple of previous owners and that's going to be quite nice for critical hits this is our new hunter from our uh, you know recruitment drive the alchemist crystal Anthony who's using upgraded stuff and a health potion and I'm, I'm trying to uh, use younger people so I can level them up and then later they can they can breed and get stronger children and they're using like powerful bone shell armor and sponge stones to regen health and stuff and this is the amazing baby face, baby face Kalma who, who will hopefully do pretty good on this job I guess we'll just have to find out I don't know about you but I'm ready to hit something today lovely hit away uh, right the hunters now one of my hunters abilities is to hear where the cadence is without being able to see them and I'm going to stealth move to over here so I can see them see what they are okay so this thing's horrible it shoots uh, explosives and it can spawn other enemies this thing explodes when it gets near to you and I really don't know what that is Okay, these aren't in the line. There's some really cool tactics you can use. For instance, if you knock back, especially with the knocking back, you can knock um, enemies into things, which either stuns them or does more damage, and you can knock them into other enemies, which stuns them both. There's some really cool tactics going on here. I'm interested to see how this stuff works. Follow up. Oh, actually. Can I use that or this? And then I can blind all three of them and find out what's over there. Awesome. So I've got two of these things which explode. I can take those out quite easily. Hopefully. <laughs> I hope so. And do some decent damage to this. Kablam! Nice. Is it stunned? I think it might be. It's wiggling about like it is. I guess we'll have to find out. Right, let's bash this thing away from us because these have quite a large explosion range. That thing's going to go kablooey. And it's not very nice as well because uh, it does decent damage when it's next to you. But aside from that, if, um, if you leave one of your guys over a turn, like at the end of a turn, on this goop that it spreads, it uh, doesn't do. Uh, it uh, it does corrosion like one damage a turn or like corrosion damage or or something. I can't remember exactly what it is, but uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I didn't. It's blinded, but it does explode, so it doesn't need to be able to see anything. Oh, why didn't I think of that? I am a derp. Okay, well that's great. The shell defense triggered. Not honestly bothered about that. Six out of fourteen. Okay, we we can survive through this. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> you, 
have to move out of the way over there. You get your HP back by attacking this thing. Whack! And it's all over. But we do have to find out where the rest of the enemies are. And I have no idea. Ah! Found one! Yeah, there's some dodgy stuff with the camera. It uh, suddenly decides uh, that you can't go to various places and things like that. It's not It's not too much of a problem because you can just switch between uh, people like this. Like using the bottom left area and, and selection method, but still it blocks you when you're just, just using WS and D, which is kind of annoying. Okay. That thing is going to be a pain in my bum. So, just going to hit it. See what happens. Whack. Oh god, not bulwarks. Okay, these guys suck. Because what you have to do with them is make a really powerful single hit on them and then their ability activates which is kind of a, a shell which is where I got my shell armor for this once the shell armor is activated you can only do one HP to them uh, one damage even same thing but yeah it's not it's really difficult and they're my least favorite enemy but they do give you a decent amount of experience and some cool research options so let's do a stealth move so you can't be seen and attacked you too, you move up uh, here so we can get a good angle on these bulwarks later and you can stay there out of harm's way you, go over there and then we'll see how this this turns out. Where are you going? Are oh, you going to attack that guy? Ah, no. Okay. Well, his shell armor is activated, so if anyone else attacks him, he should be fine. Just there we go. One HP dealt. That's not too bad. Could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. Uh, okay. So how much damage can we do? almost the full amount so if we do follow up which is a, a really good ability we might be able to kill it in a single shot nice critical hit didn't even need it that's that's the best time to have critical hits when you don't even need them okay we should be able to just get rid of this thing in a single hit okay uh, you're the only one that can get over there and we shall put you there so you're out of the way when that rupture explodes. And you get some health back and a level up. Awesome. Didn't see that one coming. Right. Uh, move you over there so we're not pushing you into our other guy. That would hurt. Kablamo! Nice. Move you up stealthily. Move you up not so stealthily. I think that's the end. And then we've got whatever this is. Okay. He's just attacking the scenery. No idea why. Oh, I guess those egg-looking things block the line of sight. So, I don't know. Okay. Who has the ability to... Uh, skills. No, you don't. So it must be you that has the ability to hear things. Oh, no. You can't get past the other heroes, so I'm going to move you up here. Oh, okay, I see. I see where stuff is. I don't, I don't necessarily need your ability now. I just need you to kill stuff. Move over here. And now we know there's a butt ton of evil things over in that direction. Great. Um, I think I'll move you. Hmm. Can you? I'll move you there. Can you fire over there? Awesome. Awesome. Oh, and you can hit that thing over there as well. Uh, is it worth it? Probably is. 
Yay! I don't know if that thing will notice us now. I guess we'll find out. Uh, and you can't do anything, so I'm going to leave you. And you, I'm going to beat the snot out of this thing. Because it's fun. <laughs> Whack! Uh-oh. Okay, well, hope you should be able to survive on your own. you got, like, health regen and uh, awesome armor as well, so you'll be fine. You'll be alright. No worries. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fine. <laughs> Run over there. That should be the end of it. Now I'm going to get attacked. Oh, no, explodey stuff. Urgh. Okay, it was only you. You're fine. Don't know what you're complaining about. Where are you running to? And you? Oh, you're just gonna shoot at uh, her? I think I heard a woman's voice. I don't know. I don't know who my characters are half the time. I don't spend enough time with them. They grow old and die before you like spend one or two battles with these people. So. Okay. So what's this? Oh, it's going to spawn a new enemy. These things are pretty easy to beat, but they can be annoying. Hopefully, I will be able to stun two of these enemies, though. I don't... And I'll be able to show you how the stunning works. Ah, you're going to shoot lots of enemies as well. I'm going to have to send another hero over to help you out. But otherwise, should be alright. I'm gonna... Okay, this, if this works, I think it should. This is gonna be pretty cool. Look at that! Two of them down with a single hit. How awesome is that? That's how you use proper tactics in this game. That's how you... It's not got cover system. It's not got anything like that. It does have an awesome knockback system, though. That's really cool. Uh, right. Can I... No, I can't else. So, uh... Oh no, because there's going to be that thing there to explode. Hmm. Right, uh, you move there. And then do... Can we kill that? Oh no, that's going to have the full armor thing happen now. Yep, damn. Okay. Not a massive problem, but still annoying. Uh, you can... No, let's just leave that. This guy. Can we kill? I think we should be able to get rid of it. Oh, no. So close. So close. Uh, you run away. Because you're very squishy. Uh, and you can run over here and shoot this thing help out our guy over there. You're terrible! You're the worst! Come on! Hit hit something! Okay, your turn. Can you move here? Ah, dang. No line of sight. That's not good. Okay, stealth move uh, so we can get you quite far without being noticed or attacked. Okay, I guess we'll find out how well this goes. Ha <laughs> ha, you missed. Oh, oh, three of them? Oh, oh my god. That was... Yeah, you got to be careful with that sort of thing. Wow. That was painful. For three of my heroes, wow. Yeah. Oh, and here comes the explosion. Okay, that's not too bad. Only one damage, and now shell defense happens. So anything else that happens will just be, like, a single damage. Which is okay with me. Oh, what? You can see? I thought I stealth moved. Oh, God, okay, okay. Y this uh, hunter is in really big trouble. Oh no! Oh god! Uh, 
Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Rebound is the ability of my uh, Kaber Jacks to... Uh, when they get hit, the enemy gets bounced back. And obviously, if you bounce back into a wall or something, they get not uh, stunned, which is, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to attack you from here and knock you into that little two-legged thing. And that should kill them both. Sweet! Okay. Now, you... Uh, you, actually. You need to heal my hunter with a health potion, which I researched, which is very nice. I kill that thing. Awesome. Uh, okay. If I move you over there, you will be able to see the both of them. And... Actually, hang on. I want to try some. Can I kill both of them in one? Yes, I can! Oh, that's so good. I love knockbacks. Normally, knockback is a uh, just a special ability. Um, hang on. This special ability, number three on the bottom bar. But because I've got a special uh, weapon, it knock back, knocks back anyway, so there's no point in me using that. It's just just does normal damage instead of reduced damage. Which is great. Okay, stealth move over, over over here. Okay, and then scout out. We'll find out uh, how well things go. Uh oh! Don't explode, please don't explode. Okay, it didn't see me until the last moment. Oh no! Not more of those things. I'm just going to go straight for that giant, creepy arm. Um... Oh, look at how many arms and legs it's got. That's weird. That's just weird is what it is. Can I knock it off the edge? Let's see if I can knock it off the edge. See what happens there. No, I can't. Didn't go far enough. Uh, you, however, you can get a pretty good shot on this thing. Nice. Sorted. Yeah, they all have their special um, battle cry that I think is also designed by players when they kill stuff. Which is pretty cute. You stealth... No, you can't stealth move. Uh, just move over there for the moment. You... Get rid of it. <laughs> KB Jacks at the beginning of the game aren't amazing. They're pretty good as tanks, but they're not overly impressive until they get this weapon, this knockback weapon, which is just so good. Uh, and then they become almost invaluable, especially at higher levels when they become tanky, especially with the armor as well. They're just so good. Uh, and you move over here. Right, you're going to get attacked. Not really a problem. Go get your health back. <laughs> oh, and level up. Awesome. Listen to your end. Hey, and it's the massive victory because no one died. Are the real trophies of the day. Heroes fight harder when they know they're taken care of. That's true. Um, yeah, no one died, so it's a massive victory. We got close with one of our hunters over here. And the... Oh, I can't move the camera, but yeah. And now we get to choose unlocks. I'm gonna go for charge on you. Oh, oh wow, level eight. I didn't realize. Wow. Okay. What are these two? Uh, bonus to max hit points, negative knockback effects, or no immunity to fortify you near armor bonus. Hmm. I'm just gonna go with make making you awesome. So let's go with that. What's the final one? Regain an action point after each killing blow. Wow. That could make them super overpowered. That's going to be pretty cool. If and when that happens. Okay, so we saved this province. That one got a, uh, a mark. That's our research place, the Shades Rights Guild. And I think 
that's a pretty good overview of how the game works. I know it's taken a very long time for it to, to happen, um, so it might be best if I just do this in a kind of let's play thingy. I really don't know what you want. This is kind of in the middle of the game. Let me know what you think if I should do a, a let's play or just uh, wait until it comes out or something. Uh, I don't know. If you want me to start a new game or if you want me to continue with this one, just let me know what you think if you're interested. Uh, until next time, if you have enjoyed my video, then please do give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more interesting, weird, free and cool indie games, then subscribe for daily videos. And until next time, goodbye. Uh -huh.